Barb here, Ask the PA. Well, with all of this going on with Corona, we've been talking a lot about avoiding infections. I want to take it another step. So, as we all know, hand washing is the number one way we can avoid infections. We've known that for decades. We've known that for centuries. Ask my dad. We also have the ability to use hand sanitizers if soaps aren't available. That's not any news. We all know that as well. But let's talk about some things that can harbor infection that we really haven't heard a lot about in the media. So first of all, you know, I've got jewelry on and so my jewelry's going to go. And the reason my jewelry's going to go, and this is a watch that actually my mom wore to the day of her death. And it's very special to me, but if you notice, these areas can definitely harbor potential bacteria, viruses, and infection. So also can rings, same thing. You can be washing your hands with the rings on and the soap may not appropriately get in between the fingers and the ring. For example, this ring's a little tight, I just got out of the shower. Let's talk about hand washing in general. First of all, here's the soap. 20 seconds minimal. So you lather your hands. You soap. It's not just this side, folks. It's this side. It's this side. And in between the fingers. But we have one other area we haven't talked about. It's the nails. How do you wash underneath the nails? So that's a challenge. Soap does a pretty good job, but can you imagine those people have long nails? Well, if soap's not available and we're at the store, you've got hand sanitizers or in our car. One thing about a hand sanitizer is make sure that it's just the hand sanitizer and it doesn't have something wrapped around it so that you can hold it you know, on a belt loop or something like that. But we can use hand sanitizers, but I want you to imagine you're using a hand sanitizer. How the heck are you gonna get the sanitizer underneath the nails? In the hospital, when uh, physicians, nurse practitioners, PAs, surgical techs, nurses, and everybody in the OR clean up and get ready for their surgeries, what they do is they actually use brushes. We have brushes that we use in commonplace here. Now with, with nails like mine that are really, really short, and I don't ever plan on having long nails because I'm a healthcare provider, it's a little bit easier to make sure that my nails are nice and clean. So long nails, no bueno. There's a lot of studies that show long nails will harbor infection. So harbor corona, harbor viruses, bacteria, dirt in general. Many, many hospitals have policies that say your nail length can only be so long past the nail bed. Many doctor's offices have policies. I'm sure there's stores that have policies. Are we adhering to those policies? For those that sell nail extensions right now, let's be more mindful about that. Is it really, really a good idea? And I know I'm probably gonna get some uh, negative comments about that, I get it. But what's good for everybody? There's a lot of studies about long nails and harboring infection. Do your homework, do your research. It's all about doing the right thing and preventing spread. Have a good day.